first like to thank the Golfolin bearers. These students carrying the Golfolins are selected by the respective deans for the scholarship and citizenship. <clears throat> and now it's my pleasure to welcome today's commencement speaker, Asha Saxena. Asha Saxena is a strategic, innovative leader with a track record of building successful technology companies over the past 25 years. She is the author of the best-selling book, The AI Factor, How to Apply Artificial Intelligence and Use Big Data to Grow Your Business Exponentially, and the founder of CEO of Women Leaders in Data and AI, a woman-run woman membership organization for female leaders in the fields of data and AI. Asha is a partner at the CEO Coaching International, a company focused on founding, building, turning around, and selling successful businesses. She is also an adjunct professor at Columbia University, teaching graduate classes on management consulting, entrepreneurship, and big data analytics. And she's also served as entrepreneur in residence at the Columbia Business School. In the past, Asha served as the CEO of Aculus, a healthcare data analytics company, she also built an e-commerce platform for 3,000 dealers nationwide and was the president and CEO of Future Technologies. This company provided data analytics solutions to Fortune 1000 companies and was recognized at the World Economic Forum as a global growth company for 2007. Asha earned her BS in computer science from Bangalore University in India and MS in data science from Southern Methodist University and underwent management training at MIT and the London Business School. Please join us in welcoming today's honored guest, Asha Saxena. Thank you. Thank you. Respected faculty, staff, distinguished guests, family and friends, and the incredible graduates, congratulations. It's an absolute honor for me to stand before you today and share this special moment with each and every one of you. Congratulations on this remarkable achievement. Today, we celebrate not only the completion of your academic milestone, but also the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. A chapter filled with endless possibilities, innovation, and the power to shape the future. As I stand here, it's wor worth noting that you come from an institution like NGIT that has rich history, a place where great scientists like Judiah Pearl, best known for championing the probability approach to artificial intelligence and the development of Bayesian network was born here. Innovators like Dick Sweeney, the co-founder of Keurig, the coffee machine, graduated here as well. And let's not forget New Jersey, a state that has fostered immense talent, stands a testament of the power of immigrants who have made profound contribution. It's here that remarkable individuals like Albert Einstein, a brilliant mind, renowned physicist, and the Nobel laureate immigrated from Germany in 1933. He eventually settled in Princeton, New Jersey, where he joined the faculty at the Institute of Advanced Study. Nikola Tesla, the visionary inventor and the electric engineer, immigrated from Austria Empire, now called Croatia, brought his groundbreaking ideas to life in this very place. And Madeleine Albright, she came from Czechoslovakia in 1948. She's an influential diplomat, an advocate for global peace, was shaped by the diverse and inclusive en environment of New Jersey. And me, it's been 30 years, yes, 30 years since I left India and immigrant immigrated to New Jersey. And now I am proud to call New Jersey my home. It's here that I started my career, built a family, pursued my passion. I'm proud to say my grown kids, Siddharth and Milan Saxena, they are New Jersey bred and are here celebrating with us and celebrating your success. Thank you. 
If you asked me 30 years back, with my humble beginning, a degree in computer science, could I ever be a tech entrepreneur, building companies, not one, but three, be the best-selling author on artificial intelligence, a professor at Columbia University, and create an organization of global leadership with a mission and building a movement, I would have laughed. And I would have said never. I would have never believed this could be a reality. All I wanted was a stable, secure job. I still remember the feeling I had on the day of my graduation. I was happy, I was smiling, but I was unsure. Unsure of the uncertainty. I was a bit nervous, a bit anxious of what the future could, would hold for me. I wanted one thing, one thing, a good start of my career. When I came to US, I came with little to no money, but heart full of hope, mind full of dreams, and spirit full of determination. No family backup, no friends, no backup plans. I had no choice but to make it work. You hear the words resilience and perseverance. I truly didn't understand the meaning of that till I started my professional journey. I must have applied to over 100 jobs. Those days, we were mailing our resumes, knocking on doors. I remember buying the train ticket to go to New York City and literally going from office to office to drop my resume. With limited cash, navigating how, how I was gonna save a dollar to buy my uh, slice of pizza. Those days the pizza used to be 99 cents, of course, the prices are changed now. Um, maintaining the budget for the train ticket, food, rent, finding the job was critical. I do remember the feeling of excitement when I got my first job. It was in consulting that led me to my next phase. Through the experiences, I started building my toolbox. The toolbox full of skills that would help me build my career. I truly understood the power of resilience and perseverance. That was the first tool in my toolkit and I use it till today. It taught me the power of never giving up and continue to pursue my dreams. There were two more crucial tools that have shaped my journey. The second tool, an important tool, is to focus on the value, the value I bring to any room I walk in. Being in the tech industry, I knew I was the minority, minority in color, in age, in gender. As I started my professional journey, I was assigned to a large financial services company where I was often the only woman discussing architecture, design, and deliverables. It was hard to have my voice heard. I remember feeling like I was inv invisible at times. I learned early on, if I walk in the room, I need to speak with content, focus on insights, and add value to every interaction. I learned that my contribution mattered. I learned if I want to be seen, I need to speak up with high value content and contribute. The third and final tool I wanna to share with you today is the power of reputation, brand, and networking. Throughout my career, every opportunity came my way, came through reputation, the brand I created, and how I showed up. It was important that I was authentic. I showed up as me. It was important how I cared, cared to create an impact, give, give more than I take, made every effort to leave the place better than I walked into. When I went from working in consulting to building my own data management company, I got the opportunity for only two reasons. I did my very best at work. I worked hard. And I networked. I went and got to know people. It was important to do good work, but it's equally important to share what you create. As engineers, we often find joy in building and creating. But if it's not being used by consumers, the technology, the innovation, what we create is only so good. When I started my first business, it doubled every year. And it truly grew through connections, reputation, the brand we built. 
I learned the value of brand not being a programmer when you're an individual, pro, uh, individual contributor. It's hard to understand the brand, but I learned the value when I started building my business. People remember how you make them feel, how you build relationships, and how you prioritize giving, giving over taking. Your brand is shaped by your actions, your character, the impact you leave on the world around you. So pay attention. Be cautious, be cognizant, and understand the impact your actions can have. As you start your professional journey, invest in networking. Learn to be a giver than a taker. Learn to add value, and remember, perseverance will pay off. I am genuinely excited for each one of you. This is an extraordinary time to be entering the workforce. As the world is captivated by the potential of AI, trillions of dollars are being invested in innovation. New jobs are going to be emerging, and boundless opportunities is awaiting for you. As I share my excitement, I remember the quote from Roosevelt where he said, nothing worth having comes easy. So as you embark on your journey beyond these walls, remember that your path may not always be smooth and straightforward. Challenges will arise, setbacks will test you, and uncertainties will loom. But it is the, these moments that will, re, that, that will test your resilience and perseverance, and it will help you shine, propelling you forward. You have to believe in your dreams, harness your determination, embrace the resilience that resides within you. Know that you have the cap capacity to overcome any obstacle and achieve greatness. As graduates of NGIT, I'm confident that you will continue, contribute to this exciting era of technological advancement and make both New, New Jersey and NGIT proud. I believe in you. Once again, congratulations on this momentous achievement. Cherish this day. Cherish this day, celebrate your accomplishment, and always remember the journey doesn't end here. It's a lifelong pursuit of growth, learning, and making a positive impact in this world. Thank you. Congratulations.